Our first segment is a documentary on the art of modern farming. It was produced by senior producers Flora Perkins and Devonye Mylan. Over the years, farmers have developed many different techniques and equipment to help with the production of their crops. An example of one of these modern techniques is the use of a drone which Matthew Scott uses to check on the crops in his fields. Using this technology, Matthew can have an aerial view to keep an eye on everything to ensure the farm is running smoothly. By the year 2050, it is estimated that over 9.2 billion people will be on the planet. Luckily, just like the growing population, the use of technology has grown as well. In this day and age, farming has become an art of blending age-old techniques with modern science and technology. So, welcome to the art of modern farming. So farming today has changed a lot um, over the past 50 years. We now, we now have bigger machines, as you can see behind me. Um, we, have, we have several combines that will run at once. We have tractors and auger wagons. Uh, 50 years ago, they were working on a lot smaller equipment. A lot of people worked with really small trucks. Everything was a lot smaller. The amount of land that people owned was a lot smaller. Now there are less small farms, more bigger operations that have kind of condensed into one. There, the farming has really evolved to be technology oriented. Most every piece of equipment has GPS in it. It can drive itself. Um, you start in on the turn and you press a button and it takes off and keeps on going throughout the field. Um, the combine, it has um, a monitor in it. You can see exactly what the grain is doing, the moisture, the test weight, everything. You can see it right there. Inside the combine, you know what you're dealing with before it even gets to the grain market. So it's just really changed from the way it used to be. It used to you'd go through the field in your combine and not really know what you could expect until you got down to the the grain elevator. So it's a lot it's a lot faster of a pace than it used to be. The the auger wagon just pulls up to the combine, they unload and just keep on going. It's, it usually starts early in the morning and they continue through dark. So it's a long day. They try to be as efficient as they can as many is not stopping as possible so they try to keep going without stopping so that they can get the grain off the field because the longer you wait the more loss that you'll have occur so the quicker that they can get it out the better. So farmers have to deal with a lot of things they have to be highly educated first of all to be able to deal with all of this equipment as you can see behind me it's not um, anything easy to drive it's a million dollar piece of equipment going through the field. You have to be trained on every little aspect of the farming. You have to know what to put on the land so that you can put nutrients in so that the grain will actually produce what you need. You, so you basically have to be a chemist, you have to be a mechanic, you have to be able to fix all these pieces of equipment when things break down. You have to know exactly why the corn needs and the amount of water it needs, why you need to put nitrogen on so that you can better able your farm. So a lot goes into farming that, that people don't see. Um, a lot of times you just see the equipment driving up and down. You don't really think there's a whole lot to it, but it is very, very, it's a long process. Hi, I'm Matthew Scott. I'm a fourth generation farmer here on Scott Farms in Henderson, Kentucky. Uh, our primary crops on this farm are corn and soybeans. We have about 3,100 acres that we have in cultivation and we split it pretty evenly between the two crops. We also raise just a couple of acres of sweet corn for our own use and for the use of our friends and neighbors. When my granddad started farming here on this farm, he would have been using about a thirty dollars to $40,000 combine that would have harvested four rows of corn at one time. And on a good day, he might have harvested 7,000 bushels of corn. Uh, comparatively speaking, our new combine that we have this year is about a half a million dollar machine altogether. Uh, it harvests 12 rows of corn at one time and can harvest 25,000 bushels per day. Uh, for the soybean crop, he might have harvested 1,000 bushels per day uh, with a 15-foot head, uh, whereas today the head on the combine is 45 feet wide and he can harvest 10 to 11,000 bushels per day fairly easily. Uh, the tractors of my granddad's time were maybe an 80 to 100 horse open cab tractor pulling a four row corn planter. 
Uh, the tractor behind me that you see here is about a 315 horsepower machine and it pulls a 24 row planter across the field. Uh, there were no computers used at my granddad's time on this farm, but uh, today speaking, this machine here is guided by GPS and computer technology. Uh, the operator is not steering the machine as he's going through the field, it actually drives itself and the GPS technology allows it to be accurate within one inch. At the same time he's planting, it's also recording uh, real-time data of what population or rate of seed he's putting out per acre and creating uh, color-coded maps to help the farmer go back and review what was done in the spring. The whole reason that farmers are using more technology and computers today uh, is because the population of the world continues to increase and at the same time due to urban development the number of acres that farmers have to put their crop on continues to be reduced. So it's absolutely necessary that farmers become more and more efficient all the time and this technology allows for that to become possible. This year a new piece of equipment that we've employed on our farm is actually a drone or an unmanned aerial vehicle. I have purchased this to use for scouting our fields. I'll be able to fly over the crops and look for areas where maybe the the population or the plants did not come up and the planter needs to go back out into the field and replant or an area that may have been flooded out by spring rains and require a second planting. Uh, we can also use this, uh, this drone to fly over the fields in the fall or winter to check on any erosion issues that we have and correct those over the winter months before the next spring. Uh, it's a very neat piece of equipment very new to the agricultural industry and I look forward to finding out just what all it's going to do for us in the future.